it's me, your host, Devontae Davis, and we're here on the U campus with YouTube sensation Yadman Ethan. So if you haven't liked, subscribed to any of his videos, what are you waiting on? Yadman. Oh, you mean you don't subscribe yet? Oh, you mean you don't like, share, and comment? Oh, you mean you don't turn on the notification bell? People that don't know, say, boy, Yadman Ethan. But there we campus connect. Oh, what about? Yadman, mm. what is it with you and Shensia? Oh boy, um, you see, everybody knows say like, I never think for Shensi, isn't it? Me? Like my, my, it seems like more than a thing. My, my, my address is actually in Shensi's comment section, that's where I live. Um, all this really started heavily, I mean I've always had a crush on her, but like all this really started heavily when I was booked to cover Atlanta the Cab Caribbean Carnival this year. And um, I, I live in Atlanta. So, I, I, I mean, I knew that I was going to get the, get the work to cover the carnival. Yeah. But when they called me the night and they said, hey, you know, we'd like for you to cover the event. And um, yeah, could you make a promo for Shensia? I was like, wait, what? Like, Shensia got there? And then when, when I heard that Shensia was going to be in Atlanta for carnival, and with my YouTube stuff, because sometimes I'll do like, you know, public interviews and I'll probably like even interview artists. I knew that I was going to potentially get an opportunity to interview Shensia. Right. So I figured, yo, this would be something great for my social media if I could actually get that interview with Shensia. So I, ever since then, I moved into her comment section and I don't miss anything <laughs> that she posts. And I put complete foolishness in her comment section. Sometimes, she even like it and, and, and laugh, would we? Is it me? How you feel when she like it? Yo, is it, yo, euphoric. <laughs> <laughs> is it me? Sometimes she even posts me up in her story. I'm like, yeah, man. She didn't even know what I'll go on, but she's here, you know, one day, one day. Okay, so what is your nationality? To answer this question, I, I do have a US passport, but I went, you know, I, I grew up my entire life in Jamaica. Okay. You know, so you can say that I am, I am dual. Alright, so my name is Yadman Ethan E T A N. However, my real name is Ethan E T H A N. Um, the Yadman part came out one day. I was at a Caribbean club, and a Rasta man who was jerking chicken, chicken, not chicken, pork. Not pork. <laughs> he was. Um, I was holding a reason with him, and then when I was leaving, him there big me up and say, "Yo, Yadman, big up yourself." This was before I even started, you know, doing things on social media. But what's funny is that even though I was at the Caribbean club, yeah. I knew when he referred to me as Yadman, I knew he was speaking to me because while I'm in America at a Caribbean club, that doesn't necessarily mean that all the patrons there are going to be Jamaicans. Right. You know, we're going to have people from different Caribbean countries, people of the Caribbean diaspora, and even Americans there, you know? So when he said Yadman, and I knew he's big enough, big enough me, I was like, wait, that, that name, it has, a ring. it has a ring to it, you know? So I was like, I gotta probably use it one day. And then when I looked into it, I realized that nobody was using the name Yardman. Because it's always Yardy. It's always a Yardy or whatever. And I'm like, wait, out of the whole heap of people who are in Jamaica, nobody's using Yardman. I was like, all right. And then the Ethan part come in because my name is Ethan, as I said, E-T-H-A-N. However, growing up my entire life, Jamaicans can't pronounce H's. Yeah, we can't. Yeah, Jamaicans just can't pronounce H's. That's so I was tough. like, to make it sound more Jamaican, I'm going to take the H out, yeah. you know, but before anybody want to come talk to me about, you know, an no eating argument, all I can say is that there are a lot of Jamaicans who like to project their obsessions with eating on me, so I mean... We're obsessed with eating? So, apparently some are, because a lot of them like to make that joke with me, but I, you know, yeah. <laughs> okay, what does YouTube mean to you? YouTube, that's a very good question. YouTube, I've always wanted to be a YouTuber. Okay. Um, I started doing skits on Instagram. You know, that's when it really blew up in Jamaica, you know, when, you know, you had a lot of ex vinyls moving over to Instagram. So, you know, Instagram had provided me more time. I started making skits probably 2016, late 2016. That's when I really started making skits. But even though I was making skits on Instagram, my end goal was always to be a YouTuber. Okay. 
because I felt like I could provide, I could, I could do more on YouTube as opposed to just a one minute restriction that Instagram would give me. Yeah. So I figured that, you know, doing this Instagram, one, I could, you know, probably generate a little buzz for myself maybe. And at the same time, get, ex get, some, uh, get some experience from the camera. Because at that time, I wasn't, when I just started, I never had any type of experience behind the camera. Looking back at my old videos, made me cringe, you know? And it's funny because I started doing stand-up comedy before I even started doing Instagram videos. Right. So YouTube was all, to me, was always the end goal, especially with the fact that I always, like, I'd study, I'd study how people were successful on Instagram, especially people in Jamaica. So being a YouTuber was always your dream job. You know, like Jamaican traditional parents be like, that now put breakfast here. <laughs> so how did you express that to your parents? And how did you develop such passion besides from the traditional expectations? It's funny because I just cut out the noise. Because a lot, even my family, besides from my parents, they didn't want me to do anything that was non-traditional. Right. In even before I got to university, even before um, I did anything in university, my, I told my mother I wanted to do a psychology degree and she said, you're not getting no work. No, straight up. Mm -hmm. So it was not until I was in Arden I really developed a passion for social media. That's when it re that's when social media, you know, YouTube videos, you know, certain things really started, you know, catching people's attention. And it was, and um, me and my brethren, we had a comedy group in Arden called No Forward. And we were making. But we are getting forward now. Yeah, we are getting forward now. We are getting forward now. Um, we had a group and we were making memes before memes was even a thing. We were making memes about Jamaican governance and making memes about Jamaican life. Right. All those type of things. We had No Forward on Facebook. And it wasn't until after I left um, Arden and had to migrate to the United States. I said, I said to myself, yo, I don't want to stop the things that we're doing in the forward. Maybe I could do something for myself, right. you know? And the important thing here is that when I was studying the people who were successful on Instagram, because the thing is, Instagram doesn't pay you, you know? Instagram doesn't pay you directly. You don't get no check from Mark Zuckerberg, right? It's always a third party payment that you get, either through promos, sponsorship, or you're selling products. Right. But I said to myself, can't I do the same thing? Can't I do those same three things on YouTube and get AdSense money? Okay, so I'm guessing that's the reason you chose Instagram over YouTube? YouTube over Instagram? Yeah, YouTube over Instagram. Oops. Not necessarily for the money, but it gave me a platform that I could express myself to be more creative, because I was able to do a lot more outside of a minute. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you do your own edits and write your own scripts? Yes, I edit everything myself. I script everything myself. You know, sometimes if I get other people in on the video, I will, you know, get their improv. Um, but mostly the ideas and the editing, everything is it's all me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who influenced you to become a YouTuber? I love, lo till this day, I love Twin of Twins. You know, I love Twin of Twins. Um, even like Twin of Twins was one of the people who really got me into like, you know, probably even changing my voice a little bit because when you when you listen to Twin of Twins, you're like, it's yo, so awesome and captivating. it's so awesome because yo, a two brother who's doing most of the audio work here, it's, it's ridiculous. It's cre so creative, you know, um, even after leaving Arden and I de and I realized that Arden started developing a reputation for itself. People at Arden started calling Arden Starden because of people like Alkaline and you know, Coffee. And a YouTuber who some of you may not even know, Young Don the Sauce God, who has over 1 million subscribers on, on YouTube, is from Arden, who is a Jamaican, who a lot of people may not even realize is a Jamaican, yeah. unless he's telling stories about Jamaica, you know? Um, those pe like th those three Arden people really inspired me because I'm saying maybe as I keep going I could probably have my name up in the you know the, the Stardenites you know what I mean so <laughs> um, because when I was going to Arden I was shy I was introverted I couldn't even speak in front of a classroom I don't believe that no man me did uh, uh, <laughs> them time the them time that I never had no type of hair you know, uh, selling Yu-Gi-Oh cards for money. Oh wow! Yeah, man. Yeah, man. I was yeah. Yeah. I never. I could. I had. 
I had nowhere near the social skills that I have now. Not at all. Not at all. Oh wow. Mm -hmm. So what are some of the challenges you face as a YouTuber? Why? I know that speaking to a lot of Jamaicans who want to do their own thing, you know, this is going to resonate. And that was initially was a lack of support. People who did not believe in the vision. Yeah. Uh, it was very hard for me initially because I had people who I once considered friends or even acquaintances who would go out of their way to, to, to drag me down, tear me down. You know, tell me, you know, like, yo, dog, you're not gonna make it, yo, dog, you're waste your time, this and that. And it was rough to process at the time because I'm saying, yo, how is what I am doing affecting you? Why can't you be like the other friends who, even, as I said, um, when I just started, you know, I, I cringe looking at my old videos, you know? But that's that's a part of the, that's a part of the journey. You the get you, you get better. You know what I mean? I, I I have people who have given me constructive criticism, not destructive criticism. You know? Constructive criticism. Yo, you know maybe you can you know think about this or you know change this or work on your delivery a little bit more. You know, and then you know you I help you know I build on those type of things. So it just became a thing where I just had to cut all the noise and just cut out a lot of people and just keep it moving. Um, another thing that I've realized is that, especially like in Jamaica, a lot of people may not take YouTube or social media work serious, yeah, unless you're boss, True. You, you know? But, you know, I've, I've, I have proven to myself and that I can make it work. I just have to know how to market myself. And you are making it work. Yeah. So what are some of your favorite collabs? favorite collabs and who do you network with who do I network with um Dutty Berry is a is a is a I consider Dutty Berry to be like a mentor to me right. you know um I met Dutty Berry last year and um we clicked very very fast um energy is right um I don't collab with people unless the energy is right I don't care how big you are I don't care what your platform is like Energy is an is a, is, is a important thing to me. Like, how you work with me is how I work with you. Yeah. Um, I have, in, in, um, in, in, in the States, I don't know if you know who Trini King is. He's, Trini King, He's amazing. Ama He's an amazing person as well. You know, Trini King, me and Trini King are very good friends. You know, um, we've collabed together, worked together, we talk all the time good friends energy was just perfect um future collabs if you know who super arabian is or you know trey sanko from guyana yeah, I know trey. you know as i said energy is right very good um other people i've worked with even smaller youtubers at my bridge in kavan kavan is very good very good vlogger i must say um even in my in my team right now with effort i just met fat skull i just met triple x i just met keeping up with jenny and so far i can say that the, un the, the, the connection that we have seems to be, you know, good, genuine. And um, yeah, are there any more collabs I'm missing out on? Um, you know who Nigo Simara is, for example? Instagrammer. I mean, as I said, energy is right, as I said. Um, yeah, the, the, there are a lot of people who are like, once I, once I get to know them and you know, the energy is right, we'll just click and we'll just keep it. Just like keep it. Kind of yeah. Okay. I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, no, like seriously, the energy I have with Campus Connect, I, I'm not even going to lie. Like, I, I like, I like what I'm seeing here. I like the professionalism. I like the, you know, how you guys really, you know, interacting with me and everything. Yeah, man. Okay. So, what are some advice you can give to? Oh, Hold on, sorry, I forgot. I forgot. Um, Gallus in Paris. I forgot about Gallus in Paris. Gallus in Paris is one of the funniest people I know. Yeah, he's very funny. Right. Um, he's also very genuine. Energy is right, and. You know, he's also, he, he also helped me, you know, g give advice. Constructive. Constructive criticism and advice about not only doing this type of thing for fame, because how I see it is that, you know, the hype and the fame is only like a byproduct of this work. Yeah. You know, it's actually work. I'm an entrepreneur. If I don't work, I'm not making money. And how to monetize your talents is something that's very important. Right. 
you know so Gyalis has given me that type of advice and we've worked together numerous times and I must say that Gyalis is one of my favorite um, collabs as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what are some advice you can give to upcoming YouTubers? For upcoming YouTubers I must say cut out the noise because you're going to have a lot of people who are going to tell you that yo you're not gonna bust, yo you're not gonna make it, yo you're not gonna make no money. Yeah. The thing is once you have passion for this type of work and passion is necessary once you have passion you can and you can figure out exactly how to get things done. Another thing for, for upcoming YouTubers is definitely finding a way how to monetize your talents. And it's not just from YouTube because YouTube, getting monetized on YouTube is only the beginning. That is getting your 1,000 subscribers and getting your 4,000 watch hours. That's only the beginning because now, for me, I have AdSense money. And I make US dollars, by the way, yeah. which is important. Especially when I'm living in Jamaica, when Jamaican cost of living is much lower. <laughs> Making that AdSense money, merchandising money, promos, um, sponsorships, you know, and you just have to figure out how to make this into your full-time job. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Okay, so as a media, media person, Yeah. Android or iPhone? You know, Alkaline said in Champion Boy, iPhone, iPhone, iPhone and a Samsung, Samsung boy. But listen to me, I'm not going to I'm not I'm not the type of person who bash people who have an Android or a Samsung, whatever. I don't bash you. I am a, I am the person that believes that when you have your phone, you must use your phone. Because you have enough people with their road who have pretty pretty phone, hype phone, who not even using half of your features. You see me? So so, so let me. See. So I'm not going to say that you know. Li listen, you're going to have a lot of Android people saying, "Oh, well, you know that yeah. the, the 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 new Samsungs already or Androids already have all the features the iPhone 11 has." Listen, the iPhone 11 camera is amazing, okay? And that's all I really business about. I don't. I guess he's really saying. It's up to. It's up to. No, it's up to what you want. But me, I got the iPhone. Yeah. Because the reality is, the iPhone camera is better. You know what I shoot it with? Is. You know what I shoot with? Yeah. I don't have a cam. I don't have a DSLR or a camera. You know. Right. All of my videos on YouTube, everything, is on my iPhone. I shoot in 4K. Wow. Is it me? I don't think of an iPhone as a high-end phone anymore. I think of an iPhone as a low-end camera that I can make calls from. Okay, Canon or Nikon? Canon. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. But before we go, I yeah. have a very important question. For yeah, you. chat to you me. You could bring one shirt, come give me a man. You just come with your long and them, so. No, sir. You see, all my YouTube videos have my link, you know, for my online store that does drop shipping localmotivetees.com slash yardman you can get your you can even get your own okay, so yard girl like stuff so you're not, you're not for free. Not me, you know, it's a business thing. This is me, I have to support the thing alright yeah. right, fair enough mm -hmm. so final question yeah. what is your most embarrassing moment on social media Jesus <laughs> alright right. 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 my top two I'll give you my top two okay, alright right. um, Shensia interview that I got at that Atlanta. Number one? No, that's number that's number two. Okay. Um, Shensia interview that I got at Atlanta the Cab Carnival. I'm going to be very honest with you. As much as I really wanted that interview, I was nervous. I was so nervous because I was like, yo, you know how long me I live in the comment section? Like, you even see me. And then she was like, yeah, I know you, man. I see you, man. I was like, what the yeah, Shensia sent me. <laughs> yeah, so like, um, <laughs> like, people who know me and know how extra I am, watching that video, they were like, yo, yeah, man, they're nervous, you know. Yeah, like, oh she's up, like. And then That's she. That's what a crush do to you? Yep. Yeah, yeah. Only Shensi, all right? Only Shensi, because, like, when I, when I was doing that, no. And, and the fact that I was able to get her laughing, that, that did a lot for me. I was like, yo. I eat this now. Don't make Shensi a laugh. <laughs> you see me? I got down on one knee and everything, and I said, yo, Shensi, I can strangle and tie you up like goat. And then she was like, meh. <laughs> <laughs> you see me? So, yeah, like. <laughs> That yeah, so yeah, but that's only that's only my second most embarrassing my my most embarrassing moment on social media was with Dancing Rebel. Okay. What did you do? It was 
when was this? When was this? December 2017, I was in Jamaica and I had a little bit too much of the rare nephew. Oh and um, Spice said she wanted three man on stage. This was a party in um, New Kingston at MVP. And I don't know what possessed me, me jump on stage. Okay. Right? Ready and everything. The thing is, at that time. You weren't ready? Hold on, no. I thought mm -hmm. I was ready. Okay. At that time, Team Spice was doing a thing where they were sweeping like you know men's feet and pushing them chest down yeah. to get them on the ground right. so the thing is i was planted it and firm on the ground and i was like yo no 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 can't catch me i'm good <laughs> rebel picked me up off the my feet picked you up? Yeah, man. she hoisted me up and carried me and um I immediately, when that happened, I was scared. I wrapped my legs right around her waist. And um, she fling me right down upon the ground. And then she did, she did, she did, she did, she did rebel stuff. Oh my God, you did what? Yeah, man, uh, my back was hurting for two days after. The, the liquor that was in my system numbed the pain initially. But like when I wake up the next morning, and what was crazy was that at the time I never had a like I had a Twitter account but I never really used it. And um, it was you know Jamaica in the age of social media, so I just see it all over the place and say, yo, let me come off a Twitter, yeah man. I mean I use Twitter now. Yeah. But um I mean it's been two years. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I still have that video somewhere on my Instagram. Oh wow. Yeah, and um, I I reposted it from Rebel because Rebel actually posted it on her Instagram at yeah. the time. And um, I did post it and she did see it and laugh and beer things. I was like, yeah, man, that, that, that was definitely my most embarrassing social media moment. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, weird. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wait, no man. <laughs> 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 yeah man, yeah man, I wrap, wrap, wrap it fully around our waist, yeah man. So you were a crybaby? Yo, a rebel, you know. Like, have you seen a rebel to people? Yes. Like, yeah man, like, this, as I said, I was, I, I was sore she was going to sweep my feet from under me. When she picked me up, I was like, Jesus, I'm peace, I'm dead now. I eat. I eat. I eat. I eat. It was good. Yeah man, it was <laughs> Wow. Yeah. So there you have it guys with Yardman Eaton. Don't forget to like and subscribe at Yardman Eaton. You can follow me on Instagram at Yardman, Y-A-A-D-M-A-N underscore E-T-A-N. You can also follow me on Twitter. You can also subscribe. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Yardman Eaton on YouTube, isn't it? And support the merch. Of Don't course, support, support the merch and beer things. Yeah, man. And book me. You can get it free. You now get it free. Yo, look here now. You can book me for events and beer things, you know. Like, I have more on a microphone and beer things. And I can, you know, public interview and them something there. Yeah, man. All them things. And I can make skits and everything. Yeah. I don't limit myself. No. Once I make people laugh, me will do it. Right. And passion. Passion. Yeah. Yeah, man. <laughs> so there you have it, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Campus Connect JA on YouTube. Campus Connect JA on Instagram, www.campusconnectja.com and Campus Connect JA on Twitter. Yeah, which is the account new. But thank you. Mwah. What do you mean, people may not know say about Yardman Eater may represent for Campus Connect JA. Campus Connect will have their very own Insight Magazine coming soon. The Insight Magazine will have everything from things of, you know, campus lifestyle, to, 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 to if you want to link them for your owner features and promos, make sure so you get to know owner space in the Insight Magazine. Yo, I hate that. Yardman says, so keep it locked. Come on. Good.